Hello YouTube, this is Chancellor from STEM APKs. So welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue digging deeper into the Vulcan API. But before we go into the tutorial, I wanted to introduce you to the uh, Vulcan Programming Guide. This is the official guide to learning Vulcan written by Graham Sellers with contributions from John Kessenich. It's a very good book. This is, uh, it's, it's, uh, if you're learning Vulcan, this is a very good introduction in my opinion. And uh, I have it here as you can see. And I'm going to be running some, some code, uh, some snippets of code that he has. Uh, as you can see in this, uh, this is from chapter one. And I, this is the very beginning. So I'm using uh, him as, his book as a reference because what better reference than the lead API contributor from uh, Vulcan. So this is uh, why I'm using this book. Uh, as you can see uh, he, here, he talks about instances, device, and queues. He has got some good diagrams to know the hierarchy of how the uh, Vulkan API is structured. Here you have the how it is the application and where the instances that are created, then how to uh, link physical devices, then logical devices and queues. In this tutorial, we're just going to talk about the Vulkan instance. And here there's some code. I'm taking actually some of this code that he has here and actually have it here in a, in a, in a uh, program that I can actually execute and that you can see it uh, in action. So basically I'm using part of his code, I'm tweaking it a little bit here and there just to so you can follow along. But uh, basically this is what this is here, is basically uh, a, a self-contained sample so that you can run in your system and you can start playing with it, tweaking it, and reading the book, and then you can uh, get uh, really proficient with the Vulkan API in no time. But basically here, he's just included in the IO stream because we're using uh, um, C out. He, we, he's uh, bringing in the C standard library. He's uh, bringing, including from the utils uh, directory that comes from the Vulkan, that comes with the Vulkan SDK that we downloaded. Here he says it's a macro with the app short name. Actually, I changed the name to Vulkan YouTube. And uh, I'm using namespace. This is your main, your, your point of entry to the code. And here he's creating the struct called info. He's initializing the global layer properties of the struct info. As you can see here, he's initializing the Vulkan application info structure. It's called app info. And as you can see, app info is type, app info pnx, app info app info p application name and so on if you do not if you want to learn more about this you can read the book or you can read the uh, reference uh lunar g's uh, documentation or the vulcan documentation itself that they're going to detail of what is all what's uh, the name and, and and why are you using it so here very important the vulcan api version number here as you can see, he's initializing the Vulkan application infrastructure, but here he's initializing the Vulkan's instance create infrastructure. Two different things. As you can see here, uh, where is it? Uh, here is a pointer to this guy. So this is getting information from here. And then, as you can see here, as we go down more, uh, let's go down here when I explain this. Um, here's creating the Vulcan instance with the name of instance. Vulcan result, rest for result. And here rest is becoming very important line here because this is what is actually making everything come alive. So his rest becomes Vulcan create instance, the pointer to inst info, which is here, 
null, the, that parameter, don't worry about it for now. Later we'll explain what that is. And then another pointer to instance, which is this guy right here. Okay. And here is just basically if it doesn't, if it finds errors, let, let us know. Give us a, a, ne a negative one so we know that we got an error. Here he's destroying the instance, as you can see. Very simple, nothing very complicated. The, all this is doing is creating an instance and then destroying an instance. And for that reason, if you run it, you're not going to see anything. That's why I, I put this code, these three lines of code here, so you know that it's actually doing something. Because that's why some people create windows using GLFW, and they so you know that something is, is happening. In this case, I'm just using these three lines of code, so you know when it's created, when it's active, and when it's being destroyed. So we have just created a, a Vulkan instance name, and it's going to give you the name. Here uh, is. Uh, the whoever, whatever name says hello from Vulcan Lander, and here I'm just destroying. We have just destroyed the Vulcan instance where Hello YouTube lived. And now we're going to close it and we're going to run it. I'm going to include this in my GitHub, so just in case you want to uh, play with it. And basically, here, as you can see, I have the piece of code that I just show you and the binary that I just that I executed earlier. So now to to execute the binary, we go instance and there it is. We have just created a Vulcan instance named Vulcan YouTube. Vulcan YouTube says hello from Vulcan Lander. This is where it's active, where it's live. And we have just destroyed the Vulcan instance where Vulcan YouTube lived. This is where it's actually being destroyed. Very simple, but very powerful code because everything starts here. In the next tutorials, we're going to be linking physical devices, logical devices, queues, and so on, uh, how to do application uh, validation layers, and so on. But this is just the beginning. And uh, in the next tutorial, I hope uh, you join us. Uh, this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on GitHub, and I will see you next time with another tutorial. Take care.